please welcome to the stage your co-founder and CEO, Dr. Amir Mansouri. Progress isn't easy in dentistry. It's painful, it's slow. In sprint rate, super fast, it's in our DNA. And it happens in sprints. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> We are very excited, and if we are sitting in this room today, a mentor of mine years ago told me that uh, the, whatever you are, whatever you are in your company is a really few decisions you made a decade ago that brought you here. If we are sitting in this room, it's because of a decision we made in that room, in downtown Los Angeles, to be the only 3D printing and dentistry focused company out there in the world. And I'm sharing this story with you to tell you about the power of focus. This focus made us the leader of dental 3D printing. And this focus made us truly committed to the workflow, to the digital workflow in a dental office to make it better for you. Which in reality is a combination of hardware, software, and materials. This is where the digital workflow, dental 3D printing workflow is. And this is where we live and breathe. That's our niche. That's cross-section of all of these two, three things of hardware, software, and material is where we live. And to date, from standing on this stage, there is no other company who is doing it this much focused like us. Everyone else, either 3D printing is a side gig or dentistry is a side gig for them. We have shipped more than 25,000 systems since our inceptions. These are all dental 3D printers. Yeah, couldn't believe it. And millions of appliances are printed around the world with you. You are the ones printing, making this happen. Millions. Who was here in the last 3D Next? Yeah. Thank you for coming back. It was fun three years ago. Do you remember what we launched? It was Procure 2, it was Pro S, and the first generation of our on x -Red. And those three products have been fueling your day-to-day -day practice. It became the gold standard of dental 3D printing in a dental office. But we were not stagnant, we were not just sitting in the past three years waiting to hear show up, we were still pushing things, progressing, making things better and better. More than 10 different product lines, either the second generation or third generation or first generations were launched from our second or third generation of Onyx to Apex to Nanocure to new kits to optical polish. Our marketing team is also feeling the pressure Head of marketing, Matt, is here. He always says that I've never launched this many products in my career. We're having fun with it. We also launched Biomaterial Innovation Lab to show our commitment to biomaterials, to mesh machinery and hardware and, and material, to make the material, to push the boundaries of material science. And out of that lab, I'm going to highlight three distinct materials. First one, ceramic crown. This number is unbelievable. You have printed more than 30,000 crowns with our ceramic crown in the past year and a half. <laughs> this was a dream in 2017. Everyone said impossible. Impossible to have a viable performing restorative dentistry material. Onyx, it was born on 3D Next in 2021, 145,000 arches. Now, this is a very niche procedure. I see doctors in the middle, Dr. Pater, you're probably a big portion of that <laughs> printing every day. This is 145,000 arches in almost two years. And to me, I always say this, this could have been science fiction movie two, 20 years ago. Print a full set of prosthetics, upper and lower, in 25 minutes and they last long. It's amazing. 
And finally, our Apex resin. This, we're in the second generation, 66,000 in about a year and a half. This, is, this tells us that the community is liking these materials. And they're fueling our vision of making high quality dental prosthesis more affordable and accessible to everyone, all places. And the next picture is a proof. Sprint Ray Foundation has done more than 15 mission trips in the past two years, treating more than 1,000 patients with the highest quality Apex resin that is available to people in Beverly Hills, in the highly affluent area. And to me, this is the promise of 3D printing, making access to high resolution, high quality dental prostheses and restorations for everyone. When we did our last 3D Next, it was three years ago, we called it the first annual 3D Next. And it really took the better part of my 30s to realize that one year is actually a very short period of time. It's not that long. <laughs> so we wanted to be ready. Be ready to have enough game-changing products to set a new era. And today, we're ready. And the new era is going to begin today.